Hey my love muffins. So today's video is gonna be something super simple. I worked with this company before, which is called Lush Wig. And this time they sent me one of their transparent lace frontals. And this is a Bob style girl. Okay, and I know you've seen that full scalp inside. So let's just jump right into this. I'm gonna hook these little attachments, which is the black elastic band. And then I'm gonna situate this wig grip. So while I do that, I'm gonna show you guys how your wig come, okay? How long has it been since I kissed you? I don't wanna wait. How long has it been since you held me? I don't wanna wait. How long has it been since I felt like this? About anything. I don't wanna wait. I don't wanna wait no more. How long do we have to put up with this lonely charade? As long as I know that I'm winning, I play this game. But I want you close, baby, right now. I know you feel the same. I don't wanna wait, I don't wanna wait no more Ooh, when you put your arms around me We go flying into ecstasy Ooh, I can feel our bodies trembling Feel my adrenaline increasing You Okay, ladies and gents, we're gonna jump right into this. I already went ahead and put this wig on, and it does have the black elastic band attached to it, but I just really wasn't feeling comfortable with it. It kind of was too close to my ears, so I'm about to unhook them. I really don't think I need them. You know, I really prefer them to be pre-sewn into the unit versus attaching them. That's just my preference, you know. Everybody got their own thing, girl. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot comb and just press the hairline because honestly, I didn't do anything to this wig but take it out of the box, you know, put it on my little wig mannequin, show, you know, how it comes to you and then put it on my head. I didn't bleach it, I didn't pre-pluck it. This is exactly how it comes, girl. I didn't even style it, okay? As you guys seen, it did have a full scalp inside. So that's a plus and it did have bleached knots. So that's a plus too. I love it when everything is already prepared for you, girl. And y'all know I am not like the hugest Bob fan, but girl, this 16 inch lace frontal is doing me some justice. I can't really remember if it's 150 to 180% density, but I'm definitely gonna link everything down below for you guys. I'm feeling like it's 180. Either way, girl, I'm feeling kinda cute, and we just gonna get to styling and what I say, profiling. So make sure you get you some nice, comfortable scissors so that way you can trim the lace away from the wig. I like to use these thread snips. They're easy for me. Once you get used to using them, girl, they are like a heaven send. You know what I mean? Like simple and easy. You can definitely get them from Amazon. And this wig is gorgeous. Like I said, I worked with Lush Wig before. This is actually the second time I've worked with them. The first time I actually did an orange curly deep wave wig. And I'll make sure to link that video down below, okay? This is optional, you really don't need to do this, but I always need me some sideburn hairs, maybe even one or two wispy hairs, you know, nothing dramatic. This wig, you don't really need any of that because this is a transparent lace front, girl. The bob is transparent, so that way you don't really need it. But sometimes people would like myself with really long heads, you know, I got a long head, girl. We need a little bit of extra, so I do a little bit extra just so that way I don't feel like my head is too long. But old trusty right here, which is my bedhead hairspray, 
I'm gonna spray some of that on the inside of the edges and then I'm gonna just spray it on the outer portion of the wig right between where I made the part this is easy for me I find this I find this method beginner friendly everybody friendly girl and your wig will last like two or three days the best thing I love about using this hairspray or any hairspray for that matter is the cleanup is really easy like you don't got all that glue stuck on you so you see how easy I wiped away that little bit of hairspray with my little cloth that's what you do and my new blow dryer which I'm loving by Inglam you can get this from you know Amazon too comes with four different attachments two brushes a blow dryer attachment and um, a diffuser girl I'm loving this thing not that big bulky blow dryer that I'm used to you know I like this a lot so I'm just gonna keep this setting on a pool and just blow dry the hairspray in the front but if you don't have a blow dryer girl go get you one or you can just let it dry in certain spots a little bit at a time the, the hairspray dries pretty darn quick you know you don't really need a blow dryer for that but you know I'm not gonna have y'all sitting here for too long but yes, girl, if you ain't got your blow dryer, you best to get one. Amazon Prime got you, girl, all the time. And I like to use my rat tail comb to press into the lace so that way I know it is melted, melted into my skin. So as you see, this wig is super easy. I love a good wig, you know, especially beginner friendly. And right here, I'm just taking a little bit of extra hairspray off the edges of my wig. But I love a good wig where you don't have to do much. Like I really don't mind doing much, but if I don't have to bleach, girl, that makes life so much easier. And especially for those who are not really, you know, don't have too much knowledge of bleaching, or pre-plucking then these type of wigs are amazing for you this hairline looks so natural and the density of it is great plus the full scalp where they placed it at is really nice you don't see any type of line of demarcation now like i said this stop is this step is optional i like to make sure that my sideburns and baby hairs are of a decent length now just because i cut all of them doesn't mean i'm going to use all of them and you'll see that right now when i apply my favorite hair styling mousse which is available at the Dollar Tree, which is by Salon Selectors. I always brush my hairline in a slanted format so that way it's not a blunt, straight across, you know, format. This will give it a more natural appearance and also it'll be more pleasing to the eye. Now, I did scoop me a little bit of a baby hair right there in the front. As I stated, this wig does not need one, but I always feel like I definitely need these sideburns, which I'm placing right here on the side. That's the happy dance girl because so far, so good with this wig, especially for me not doing anything to it, but taking out the packaging and placing it on. Now the one thing that I really do love about this styling mousse is it does not leave your hair hard and crunchy, okay? So you can sculpt it, allow it to dry, and then you can brush it up off of your hairline and it'll still leave its format. And I just use one of my elastic bands that I've um, sewn together. And then I just place that right on the hairline where those wispy hairs, sideburn hairs, and baby hairs are. And I allow that to sit onto the hairline while I style the rest of the unit. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that the hairs right in front are very flush to my head, making it look like it's growing out of my scalp. This hair is very free flowing as you can see right here. I love the way it has movement and so forth. And girl, I really do feel cute in this. Now this is the fun part when I use that same blow dryer, which I removed the blow drying attachment and put my volumizer brush attached to it. This brush is amazing for hairstyles like this because it will allow your hair to free flow, move easily. You know, it gives it volume and definition, but it also allows the hair to flow freely versus using a flat iron on it, but it kind of makes it lay a little bit stiff. So I'm absolutely loving this blow dryer for this particular hairstyle. And like I said, I'm not the huge fan of a bob, but this one really, you know, kind of made me feel like, you know, bobs are easy. I think with me, it depends on the length of the bob and also the density. I don't like it too thin, nor do I like it too short. Plus, it definitely has to be, you know, believable. Now look at that hairline, okay? This is where I just brush the hairs upwards so that way it looks like it's growing out of my scalp versus laid onto my scalp. And girls, check this out. guys 
I will link all the information to Lush Week down below. Let me know what you think about this bob because I'm feeling rather cute. Finally, I got a one that I'm really feeling. I do have a couple of bobs in my collection that I do like, and this one here I'm really feeling. It's the length, it's the density, definitely was the brush, and I love the flow of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Look at the natural hairline on this baby. That's the happy dance. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.